Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we find ourselves inside a car that's up for a time trial this week. So here we are, we find ourselves inside the Renault Clio V6 24 valve, it's the Renault Sport and it's uh, dolled up to the nines. If you've been doing the time trial this week, you'll have been enjoying this car or not, as the case may be. I'm lucky enough to get gold. There we are. Currently gold with nine days to go at 2.33.706. Just half a second inside the total time. But the question was asked, would it be any good at Tokyo? Could it win? Let's take a look. So the PP setting, target 600, is 599.94. Car wax 437 brake horsepower from its 3 litres. It's, it's not overly heavy, it's 1.3 tonnes, and it's shod with sports medium tyres. Fully customisable suspension, everything default, nothing changed. Fully customisable diff. We've not gone 555 today, we've gone 5, 10, 15. We've halved the numbers. Trying to get a little bit of speed out of the corners. Downforce set on the front is 27, 142 on the rear, just to tune the PP. Fully customizable ECU set to 100. No changes or restrictors on the weight. Manual transmission set to 270. Everything default, nothing changed. No turbocharger on this one. So we've got racing on air cleaner, silence, exhaust manifold, brake systems, and brake pad. We've got the brake balance controller. I'm going to put that all the way to minus five. Got the steering angle adapter fitted. Normal clutch and flywheel. And we've got every single engine tuning extra added. Bore up, stroke up, engine balance tuning, polished ports, high lift camshaft S, titanium com rods, racing crankshaft, high compression pistons, and increased body rigidity. Wheels. On this one, we have fitted the Advan Racing RC3. I believe we've left them at 17 inch. We've gone wide and wide. Custom parts on the front, we have type B. On the side, type A. No rear, and on the wing, we have the type B. We have the type A, high level rear wing. We're going to have the type B. Racing items, there's no roll cage. Other change in the instance. Let's get to the track. As we know, this is a 12 lap race racing against a field of fully fast road cars not bordering on the exotic so now this little Clio might it is little in comparison to them all might struggle a little bit here today but because we're posting a video you know how successful we are so settings for today are going to be assist batch control one weak ABS count the sear assistance on strong controller settings are going to be Force feedback max torque 7, force feedback sensitivity 10. Now, we're on a Fanatec DD, DD Plus, the GT Extreme wheel, and I must fit those mods soon. I've been sat there waiting. Let's, uh, let's get them on. Right, let's start this race. So, brake balance is at minus 5. They've got to really be a little bit careful here as you go across the line. The, the gear change is right at the point where it gets released and if you miss it, you miss a gear and you don't have the acceleration down the straight. We need six laps of fuel, which I think we're going to get. And we need to start making progress past these boys, so... 71, the brake on the 200. Down to second gear, we get into 14th place. We bump the wall, which is never fun. Is that clean race bonus gone already? Now we're on the sports medium tyre. They're going to be a little bit fragile. We're definitely going to have to stop to change tyres. This is not looking fun. Down the middle. How 
cool. I just don't know how the Jaguar ended up on our left hand side. That was a little bit ropey. It's the clean race bonus gone, I would suggest. And we've really got to make our way to the front. This car needs every advantage it can get. It is a little bit little. Oof. And it's got barely enough engine power. I think we need in excess of 400. We've got 437 brake horsepower. We need probably 450 brake horsepower to have a good shot at this race. One of the discussions we were having last night when we were doing the time trial was is 175 mile an hour down the straight fast enough to be able to win this race. Well, we're in 11th place now, 10 seconds off the lead. Every race in this car seems to be different. Sixth gear, get the draft out. Here we go, 75 it is, 176. And we're just starting to pull along. Plenty of fuel by the looks of it. Up it on the 200. Now you might have noticed we've got the wrong brake system. We're using ABS Week. It's it's not a racetrack per se. It's fairly smooth. It is a racetrack. Not a race car. But it. The circuit is fairly smooth, so it probably fits the bill. Got to get some real nailed laps to try and catch up the leaders. Mr. Gallo with the fastest lap of 216, 288 on the out lap. We were 227. Gonna go round the outside. We've got the pace on acceleration by the looks of it. Dived in. Beautiful. Looks like we're going to get 2.22 that time. Or is that 2.11? Don't know if we're going to get 2.11. That's going to be a big ask. In 8th place. Break on the 1.50. No shortcuts available with this car, it is what it is, it's little, it does turn well, it's going to be a 2.11, we know a faster lap's going to go past here, 2.08 Mr Suswillow, 2.08643, we are a 2.11.9, so we kind of say a 210 is going to win the race. We need to uh, really get some power down. Need to get to sixth gear. Really got there. We need a slipstream to be able to really manage that. 150. Too early to the apex there. down Mr. Beauvoir. We're trying to stay smooth and fast through here. The wall which just takes the top end away and it makes it difficult. Up to uh, seventh place now. We're chasing down Cookerman who has been the man to challenge in the past so if we can benchmark Cookerman and keep pushing we're on for this. 
Arzan and Hizal are ahead. Russ Willow is pushing on. Break on the 150. Braga's up there as well. Now sideways, Mr. Cookerman got that RX-7. Beautiful. This is where we're going to lose out a little bit. Mr. Cookerbum touching the brakes. We want to be able to catch these boys. Get in the draft, don't we, really? I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Still got time. Another eight laps to go. We pop out the top, we'll change gear. 0.6 seconds behind Blas and Cookerbum. We're having a good battle. Cookerman just dives in front. Break on the 150. Look how much we caught them up. Now, the unfortunate thing here is, which is where we want to be quick and we don't want to be held up by these boys. Make the dive into the corner. We did. So is that the decisive overtake? And we can start to work on the victory from here. The big ask. A lot of the race to go yet. Both of our laps in the 2.11. Blazan very powerful into that corner there. Scrape through there without any particular damage. Be on the dry stuff break on the 150. We uh, outbreak Blazan there. Is Alan Mr. Fraga going for it? Genuinely looks like it's Suswillow we're chasing this race. Cookerbun is certainly trailing. We're going to put in another 211. Continue the improvement. We don't improve, but another 211. Beer ties are about 45% worn. They're the ones you've got to watch. I don't know whether it'd been worth running hard tyres, make the car lighter with any PP we were going to gain. Yes, Cockerbun, he's on the flyer now. He's going to try and gain on us. He's not happy with what I was saying about him. First time I've had that reaction. Getting active, are pitting on lap six. So, if we can keep the power on, where are we in relation to Sus Willow? Question we're going to find that out. The Gallo goes to the pits. I think he's just up there. Maybe some six seconds ahead. A bit scrappy these early laps. We're expecting a push from Cookerbun. Now this naturally aspirated motor as Gallo goes to the pits, doesn't have a massive amount of puff coming out of these corners. 
we're going to be coming on to lap six we're going to pit at the end of lap six we're going to need to take in the region of three and a half laps of fuel comes Cookaboom be absolutely flying this Willow's just arriving at the first corner up there need to see if we can make a bit of a catch before before the pit just trying to catch the car it really does slide well it's not able to keep it away from the walls though so we're losing at least a tenth every time we do that. It really is pocket rocket this thing and probably not a massive contender here. We'll have to see how many times I take the video. I keep persevering, pushing on. Three of the contenders are in front of us. Sus Willow was there 3.6 seconds ahead. His Al just tries to overtake Fraga and he does make it. And are they pitting? That's the question. Are we all in the pits? Is everybody carrying on? I'm definitely going in. Just me, just me going to the pits then. So we're trying the undercut, medium tyres. We're going to take three and a half laps of fuel. We're going to disappear out of the pits. It's 6.2 laps. Here we go. Gallo just goes past. So, Mr. Gallo is next pitting on lap nine. Hope to be able to with, be with him by lap nine. That would be tremendous if we can be there. Let's see where we go. Break on the 150 because we were not up to speed at the end of the pit lane. get these lap times back in the 211s. We've got all the grip again on the rear tyres. 30 seconds behind Mr. Suswillow. Don't know when he's going to go and pit. He might have been fuel saving. He might have been trying to stretch an extra lap. down in 11th place which seems really quite a tough situation Six seconds behind the leader. The break on the 150. See if we can take Miyazano. And they're into the pits now. So Swilla was on one percent. So he was trying to just save on that fuel. Fraga goes in. His Al goes in. That means Gallo's going to go through and start to take the lead. We're going to overtake Yamanaka. Somebody else in front of us, Bouvoir has gone to the pits. There goes Gallo. Where are we going to be? We're going to be in first place, it looks like. We are. We're going to go through. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Still got this horrible, nasty coffee cold. Here comes Yamanaka. We're going to let him have the left hand side. He's going to push us out of the way. Rude little man. We're going to give him a tap on the rear bumper just to say, There you go. We're going to do the same to him. Just give him a little push. And he can call me a rude little man. There was certainly plenty of room where he came past us. He didn't have to do that brushing bit. Although I've had a few people say to me, have you noticed the AI tending to brush past you in the pass? It's like, yeah, I have actually. That's, that is... One of the few times we get overtaken here, there's Gallo. And it demonstrated quite nightly that they just give you a little bit, they lean on you as they go past. Probably trying to take your wing mirror away. Expecting Gallo to do one more lap. Expecting Sus Willow and Cookabun to come through at a massive rate of knots. going to see what kind of lap time we've put in this time we're up against our PB so this could be a low 211 mid 211 maybe your weight is going down tire grip is going down Gallo is four and a half seconds ahead and we know he's going to pit Yamanaka is possibly going to pit on the same lap as Gallo there's a 2.11.6.6.5. We're miles away from the fastest lap, which is Sus Willow at a 2.08. Solace has gone to the pits. Breaking on the Decent little pass through there. We're a second up on our previous best, so if this puts it into a 210, it really starts to ring the fact that this is a very capable car and it needs to go into your arsenal of Tokyo 600 winners. It needs to go up on that trophy shelf as a capable car. second up at that point so is this going to be a 2.10.6 as Gallo goes to the pits and we're nine seconds ahead of Yamanaka nine and a half seconds ahead of Yamanaka at which point we anticipate Yamanaka is going to go to the pits as well 2.10.6 yes almost a second ahead so this puts this car into the almost assured guaranteed winners bracket average lap time or the the fastest lap time at 2.10.6 Sus Willow pushing hard behind us nine seconds back with three laps to chase us down he's demonstrated with a 2.08 that he can get somewhere close to us 
fuel wise we look okay tyre wise we are on a wing and a prayer Just concentrating so hard to try and get this to flow and grip and not hit the curbs. Ten seconds ahead again. That's where you need to be to be quick through there. Just got to keep that gap. Cookabun now pushing Sus Willow. This point, as long as there's no accidents. We're just going to keep Sus Willow and Cookaburn behind us because they're only two and a half seconds, two seconds quicker per lap. So we have a six second buffer at this point and we do another 2.10. No, just a 2.11, so the gap is getting smaller. The tyre wear is falling away, but we've got plenty of fuel. Change gears, we come over the lip of the hill. Now the real race is on behind us, to be honest. The break on the 150. Just focusing, just oh, making sure we're guaranteed. We're a little bit down on our average time, but we're just slicing through these corners. Well, I am talking about it and making it worse. The concentration is where it's at. I apologise for dropping the commentary, but the last lap at 2.11.1, this is going to be around a 2.11.5, but we've gained time again. Look, 11 seconds now, the lead. We're doing exactly what we need to. And this car will go really well round here without trail braking it's got good grip at low speed at least almost a second down at this point but 11.5 seconds in the lead as we go into the last lap fuel 1.3 laps so we lead Sus Willow by 12 seconds Cookabun in third it looks like the battle is still on between those two Fraga in fourth Gallo 5th, Hizel 6th, Blazan 7th, Boudoir 8th and we have really got a decent gap 11.5 seconds I don't think there's much chance of us being able to catch Mr Gentry today he definitely looks like he's in the battle with with the Jaguar, Mr Conomos showboating type slide at the end there last time we go round the track in, um, in in full power struggling with my throat the words don't want to come out
last time through the chicane. If we can get it smooth and under power. We brush the wall at the end. 12 and a half seconds in the lead, so we continue to push on. Suswillow looks like he's going to make it second. It's normally a Cookabun second place. But Suswillow has pulled out all the stops this time. He's also got the fastest lap of the race, a 208.643. Gallo in fourth as we come charging down. Since the pit stop, our fastest lap at 2.10.678. Every other lap's been an 11. It looks like we're just going to drop into a 12 here on the final lap. But that's enough to get us the win in the little V6 Clio. It does its job superbly. There you have it. Outside the 27 minute, but it's still viable. You know, there's, there's other cars that do it at that pace, so... It's a good little win. Fastest lap went to Mr. Suswillow. We're only 1 minute 52 ahead of Mr. Gentry. No real chance of getting any back markers. No clean race bonus either. I think that was all a bit clattery at the start. A little bit of an unusual one there, folks. So, I hope you actually... Uh, take that one to the track after using it in this week's time trials we'll see you on the next one folks all the best take care goodbye for now